The mid side section allows you to control the stereo width of your samples. This mono maker knob sums your low end into mono up to the frequency that you've selected. You can apply this form of processing to basses and drums to make your low end sound more controlled and defined. Turning the mono maker up to 100 Hz is usually pretty safe, but if you turn it up beyond that point, you might lose some desirable width in the top of your low end, so just keep that in mind. Another option is to completely sum a sample into mono by turning the mono maker up to 22 kilohertz. Turning the stereo width knob down to zero is another way to put a sample into mono. Boosting the stereo width knob will have the opposite effect and spread your sample big and wide. You can use this effect to help fill space in a sparse mix.